Hey, my little cabbies. Welcome, 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 welcome. We're all of first half of January, okay? I don't think I broke the numbers down for the last for the last uh, group I just did, which was, what did I just do? Saggies? But I'm telling you, Saggies and deal, Dealies. That's a dealio. Saggy and Taurus are in the same category, okay? Um, so, let's see what my caps are at. Let's see what my caps are at. I, I forgot to mention that, okay? So, apparently, watch Taurus and then watch Sag. <laughs> Because we are supposed to be watching all of them. Just the FYI. Okay. Because Pisces was strong the other day. But I think now the, the main thing we're all trying to get to is that that Taurus Sag energy. Okay. That, that, that battle. That battle. That battle. But let's find some going on my cappies. First half of January. First half of January. All right, and off of the wheel. So uh, I, I don't know if you don't like what you're being offered or at some point there was an offer and you didn't take it, okay? Um, I don't know. Looks like you had something solid. Woo-wee. Woo-wee, Cappies. What's going on? What's the dealio? What's the dealio? That's, that's why I was saying it because for realsies, what's the dealio? Okay, so let me do my math. <sighs> oh, damn. You got the same numbers as my Taurus. All right. So this is why it's important to do all of them. Okay. That that's why that's why my Sagis didn't need them. So that would be tr triply amplified. <laughs> triply. Don't you just love court? Now let's not think about the pizza. It's supposed to be like a, a word for triple. Okay. It's the triple. It's the trifecta. So. <sighs> What's happening is, is finding the purpose here, okay? It's you're feeling drawn, you're feeling drawn to something. It, it's it's really spirituality that that inner wisdom too that you know, cause, cause spirits, yeah, with those back and forth, like woo wee. All right, so it's also something coming in soon. It, this is kind of like a heads up video for you. It, it's finding that power, that balance, having good judgment, okay? Um, it, and it is the whole mind body spirit too but it's it's this change that everybody's going through right now can you and will you go on this new adventure okay so i don't know if you feel like you missed an opportunity to me it's saying you already repeated a cycle with somebody and you kind of don't want to do it again you don't you don't really have interest okay but the divine spirit's talking to you and now will this person forgive you for not taking because obviously at one point you didn't take an offer somebody gave you that offer and you didn't take it whether it was a, a lover a girlfriend a boyfriend a friend at the time it doesn't matter an offer was there and you didn't take it so now you want forgiveness all right now you see that there's some type of stability here there's something solid and they're basically screaming at you and so the divine is screaming at you right now to have faith and, and charge in what a beautiful reading this is very long-term energy you got the truth right here i i think you have to speak it because you're like ah shit okay so but it looks great i just it's a tough one because you're definitely dealing with the past there's nothing new here this was an offer of love tell me about the four cups this was an offer of love a job something all right, of the moon. It, 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 so it was like the unknown, and you never went towards it because it either freaked you out or you just didn't want the offer at the time. You were busy doing other things. Tell me about the moon. It's either that or you're dealing with a Cancerian. You got an offer, okay, but... So you've been holding on to this person, too. I don't know if now they're the king of pens, but you're going right towards them. Man or female, you're going right towards them. Very karmic. No matter what direction you go in, karma's going to catch up to you. You can't avoid it. Taurus, I think, was the same thing. 
Okay, tell me about this Hierophant. Um, because it's screaming. It's screaming, go. This this wheel is good fortune. This is abundance all the way around. Tell me about the Hierophant. Yeah, she passed. It's so comic. Woo-wee! Woo-wee! Damn. She tell me strength. See, this is... I don't even need to. It, it's so... It's so clean cut. It is so clean cut. You just... You don't know what to do. You don't know how to get there. You're stuck. How do I get there? No matter which way you turn, it's coming. And if you refuse it, you're going to end up bumping into this person in the grocery store anyway. It's going to be one of those scenarios. So stop being a stubborn ass. It caught up to you. Or vice versa. You want you want a second chance, yeah. Tell me about judgment. Or you don't, but you're feeling like, or will this person judge me? Or, you know, something like that. So you're just kind of like going over everything in your head. Okay, what do, what do I do? What type of options? Yeah, see, you're juggling everything and waiting. Just like Taurus. Just sitting there waiting before you go in. The, you, you can't get out of this. Tell me about strength. You're getting cornered. I don't know if they got a family or not. But regardless, the divine saying, have strength. This is a soulmate. It looks like things can work out. Okay, yeah, that that's you. And still at the bottom of the deck, it, it's the same thing. Okay. So, let's get your best advice. You can't avoid this. Woo-wee. Woo-wee. Ooh-wee, baby. Ooh-wee. Ooh, this is not the lifetime. You have another lifetime with this person, too. 50s, 60s. Ooh, it's another go. Best advice for my caps. Best advice for my caps. Besides, speak the damn truth. So you must have heavy Sag, because I think you're dealing, guys are dealing with the Taurus. You have an awakening right here. They, they're screaming at you. Look at things in a different perspective, okay? It's important to be yourself. And it's, again, it's the three, because you're just waiting. You got the seven of air. Your plans need to be revised. You need to change how you're thinking, okay? There's more than, meet, than meets the eye. Could it be poor timing? Maybe. But it's, it's all how you want to look at it. Stand your belief, okay? So the person you're dealing with, because they're screaming Taurus, okay? So the person you're dealing with, I, I don't know why it's coming in so strong like that. I guess it's just love, but because um, it, it rules Venus. So they don't even, you don't even have to know if they have Taurus in their chart or not. But watch the Taurus. You understand what I'm saying? It was them standing in the beliefs, you standing in the beliefs. Same with Sag. Sag standing in the belief. This is why we're doing everything in an order. And this is the last one I'm doing for a little while because they want you to kind of watch them in order. So I hope you do. Because same old thing. Sag is doing the same thing. So you now you got Sag in your chart because you're, you're not moving forward. You're not disciplined. You're not, you're not focused on this. And you need to. It's being cornered. And I know that's like, ugh. You know, but you can't escape this comma. You can't escape this comma, my little caps. I'm sorry. My lesson for my caps. You definitely had a past life with this person, too. Surrender. All right, that indecision, that, that weight. Okay, and feeling guilty. Stop feeling guilty. Go express, go speak the truth. Tell this person what's happening. Looks like you're dealing with somebody who's got the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Water. You're dealing with somebody who has, who can have a positive outlook on things. I'll put it that way. Okay. So I'm going to pull you a Ganesha card, see what they have to tell you. See if it can help you, help you out. Cappies. Belonging. So it's it's like that that sense of belonging you're seeking. Okay. Really need to get that off my chair. Learn to find security within. 
This is a card Ganesha uses with a mouse as a vehicle, which signifies the trumpet over the, the trumpet being triumphant over your ego. In Hindu mythology, the mouse symbolizes the ego, the ego that can eat away that's all good and decent in a person, belongings seeking to solve one's own ego, because right now it's separated. Since the ego has no conscious memory of the connection, the other, or the source, the experiences that you need right now is, is your seclusion by bonding with people around you. These people can be family, peer groups, community. The ego is neither good or bad. It's simply a necessary part of your existence. The ego can manifest all sorts of stuff in a positive way or more in a negative nature. There are many aspects of this belonging. To develop your ability, love, connection, bond, sharing, and the care for others, you must clearly, you must see clearly through the mirror of this relationship. It is important in the belonging that you try not to seek approval of others either. This is the card Ganesh is here to help you to focus on positive feelings at this time and be part of a certain community. Learn to trust, learn to ask, and learn to rely on others. Okay, so someone's ego. All right, I, I don't know what happened in the past, but somebody's ego is like, your ego is not letting you move forward right now. It's that you're not, you're not surrendering. All right, but yeah, it, it caught up, but it's like, let's see what you were last year. You're not, you're not too happy about it, but it's one of those things where it is what it is. You can't get out of it. Confront the karma. Let's get the ball going. You know, it says a fresh start. So I don't know if you had that fresh start or not, but this is somebody coming back around. So I don't know if you had choices a year from now, if you had choices last year, and that was that offer that somebody gave you and you never took. But it's coming back around. It's comic. It's so spiritually linked to this. There's no out. You at least have to clear up karma. You don't have to be with this person, but you need to clear up karma. I've been trying to teach you guys that for a solid six months now. Okay? So, longer than that. The whole time I've been practicing, but I've really been stressing it. It doesn't mean you have to be with this person. It, but you do need to clear up karma in order to, to keep going, but it's kind of a, a meant to be scenario, so I wish you the best of luck, I'm going to pull you one other card, because this was so clear cut, it's, you got the mystery with the six of cups, like go, it's like you don't want to go towards the unknown, really, you know? You're having a hard time and then worried about what other people think or what other people would say that type of thing too it's just you know what it is i really feel like it's just new territory for you and it's a little intimidating no matter whom it is it speaks of the other person you know or you so best advice for my cappies best advice for my cappies Damn. Okay. Well, that wanted to show itself three times. So three, three, three. The trifecta. The mind, the body, the spirit. Going. Okay. Remember the good memories, not the negative memories. You, you definitely had a past life with this person. A contract. All right. And it's still here. It's still here. So. You know. Tell me about the Six of Cups. It's, it's not... It's not easy. This is not an easy situation that you found yourself in. That's for sure. Okay. But look how beautiful the seahorse. They're very spiritual too. And um, it's got butterfly wings. Okay. Got the ace of wands. That energy. They're giving you the energy. Okay. They're giving you the energy. Stop being confused with the two of swords. That new stats here. You're like, how do I do it? How do I do it? How do I do it? I don't know how to do it. Ah, be cornered. I love you guys. It will all work out. Just confront it. Make you feel better. Love you guys. Bye.